Alrighty, hello and welcome everybody to tonight's ugh, absolutely stunning, fabulous dinosaur action. Oh, a continuation mostly, exactly the same as last night. Try to get as big a sample size for you guys, but also play this after my stream when I'm going to bed, sneaking a game on my break at work. Usually it's not fast enough. Sometimes I can take people down that I finish two matches in 20 minutes, which is pretty intense. I don't like to risk it with the second one most of the time, but as you can see with the thumbnail there, yes, Karn's Silex makes a return. Well, uh, it's pretty simple. What does it take out? What doesn't Karn Silex take out? I've used this before to Racto sacrifice. All the creatures, all the little things. You name three, you take out everything from Mayhem Devil and down. And chances are I have enough stuff left over. I may lose a few creatures, unfortunately. Possibly lose Domri and Topiary Stomper because Karn Silex takes out all non land permanents, artifacts, tokens, enchantments, you name it. Battles, which is pretty sweet. That is pretty cool, so you don't have to worry about those getting flipped. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, probably at the most it would ever be three. Sometimes it's been four. I have named five in the past against five color fires of invention, enigmatic incarnation. They had Elish Norn down, Omnath, all those big powerful legendary creatures, and I just I popped it. Everything went away, their enchantments, their creatures. And they conceded right on the spot. I think they didn't realize exactly how it works. Or maybe they forgot about it. They just read it and they're like, oh, everything's going to be okay. Maybe because they had never really experienced it before. Perhaps that is for a good reason. But I think it is pretty good in here. Because, again, look at all these creatures that I normally like to use. That are above or out of range. Chances are I could get a pretty early Carnage turn. That would be lovely. Maybe I drop Karn Silex before this. Play this. Hmm. Lovely. Maybe the opponent has not been so aggressive, but I still would want to sweep them. I get Rip Jar Raptor on turn three. Possibly with Marauding Raptor there. I draw a card. Turn four, I play Karn Silex. Or they don't have a whole lot, so I can safely go Karn Silex to set up for a future turn. I have it whenever I need it. It does enter the battlefield tap, so we have to wait. Oh, excuse me. Wait an entire turn until it comes back around to us. We could have some cards that would untap it, so we're able to pop it that same turn. Usually I don't have that stuff, so we'll be waiting. Yeah, it's a lovely sweeper, I, I must say. We'll take down angels if we face them, although I would probably say I had my only Angels match for the next few weeks at least. Seems to be every two weeks, every three weeks that I face an Angels. Nah. Something that such, 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 shuts, tongue tied. Something that shuts down life gain. Rampaging Frostodon, Giant Syndrome, two fantastic dinosaurs for that, but life gain not popular enough and I like this if we can take down the angels and the, oh, everything everything that brings us pain Boros Convoke just see you later although that that can be pretty fast chances are we may be dead before this untaps I would imagine we want to play some stuff on turn three well, we'll see we'll see if we have to play Ripjaw to deter their aggression play Karn Silex at a later date, but if they can't kill us after we play Karn Silex, they basically have to go all in on the following turn because they see this and they know I'm going to pop it when it comes around to my turn. They're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but if they attack with everything, I may be able to trade advantageously. Rip draw blocking something small, Regisaur, and it may be able to take out quite a few creatures from the opponent. 
so much so that I don't even have to pop it on the next turn. But the opponent had to attack. But if they don't, they don't do damage to me. So cop between a, a rock and a hard place, a rock and a silex, what do you do? Hmm. It's a lovely problem for the opponent to have, that's for sure. Mono black waste knot, hey, that'd be good. Take out waste knot, Liliana, all that stuff. Stunning, beautiful, but there is still, like I mentioned, no hide ferox doing the trick. Hopefully we face off against mono black waste knot tonight. I get to show the awesome potential of this. Otherwise, I say we just jump right into it. Everything is basically the same. I only play dinosaurs except for one day a year, April Fools. But uh, yeah, I really should go back and count exactly how many live streams I've done. I know it's almost 450. I've tried basically everything, still finding out new things, but again, I like a big sample size of at least a few nights with pretty much the same list. Get a wide range of experiences. Space Slug. I feel like I've faced Space Slug before. That sounds familiar. Ooh, I kind of like the looks of this. Don't exactly want to risk it. Watch it be mono green devotion and it could turn out all right. Now, nah, we'll try one mulligan. Oh, much better. Absolutely. Absolutely better. Again, send a basic to the bottom. We have two basics here to help Cinderglade enter untapped, although it is going to be the first land that we play, of course. No turn one play. Nothing for one. Beautiful, beautiful amounts of ramp. A little bit of interaction with Tommy, which. It's quite fantastic. Oh, oh, what do we got? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Could be a lot of things, actually. Wizards, indomitable creativity. But it is nice that they got a fantastic manland with Restless Spire becoming a 2 1 blue and red elemental creature. Has first strike. Whenever it attacks, they scry. That is nice. Now I imagine they have a counter spell probably for whatever I play. Domri or Topir would get us ahead. We gotta draw it out at some point. Oh, okay. Perhaps they still do have a counter spell. I imagine they would have used it on to Domri instead of Topir because Domri certainly is a little bit more threatening, protecting against future counter spells. This also could be Is It Phoenix, which has seen quite a big resurgence recently with the reprinting of Sleight of Hand in Wilds of Eldraine. Oh, that looks like it could be. Actually, I don't think Impulse is used in Is It Phoenix, so I'm betting this is Indomitable Creativity cheating out Atraxa or stuff like that. Xenagos and the World Spine Worm. The opponent is going to have to be a little bit Scared. Hopefully, Domri lands. We'll see if they do have that counter spell. Oh, 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 my goodness. Okay. Wow, we have uh, seven. We have seven. If Domri sticks around, if they don't bounce it, take it out with damage. Oh, boy. The opponent is going to be staring down Tyrannix Rex next turn. They may still be. If I draw land and Domri goes away, the opponent's... Uh, in a rough spot, that's for sure. Oh, man. But they could do some painful stuff. They got four. Oh, oh, oh man. okay, okay. Fine by me. I guess they must not have much counter spells in their hand. Or they have something that can bounce what I was going to play. Oh, that is a beautiful sight to see. Seven for a 9-8 Trample Haste can't be countered. Ward four, Toxic four. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, so it is that. So we're going to see Xenagos and World Spine Worm, unfortunately. Not much you can do about it. Maybe it would have been nice keeping Trainix Rex and... Ripjaw Raptor behind. 
Oh, they don't have it. <laughs> oh. Ruthless aggression. Oh. I'm just glad I had the more ruthless aggression. Goodness. We dodged a bullet. They didn't have indomitable creativity. Certainly why they conceded there. Or they didn't have another land. They need a total of five. Indomitable creativity costs three red. And they need to pay an extra two for the two targets to destroy. To get Xenagos and the World Spine Worm. Making a 30-30 trample haste killing us in a single turn. Not a fun time. So we just have to do that again. Cross our fingers. Hope for the best. We don't have any instant speed interaction. Which can be... A fantastic way to stop creativity chances are they might completely tap out they might have just enough to do the thing but if you can take out one of the targets the treasure token a creature token from reflection of kiki jiki whatever it is one of those two boom you got them they're only going to grab xenagos or the world spine worm and that's not that bad we should be able to finish them off afterwards i would hope but because they didn't search for just the tracks that they could have if they had creativity that makes me suspect it's got to be xenagos and world spine which we could get enough power down that the world spine worm a 30 30 does not even kill us we have enough to block it we may not have enough to kill it that's another thing entirely but shifting ceratops 100 percent Ripjaw Raptor, they got a bunch of counter spells. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could get uh, rough. Painful. I'm going to trim one Hunt Master. I was thinking Xenagos, but that could be pretty stunning, I must say. Top decking it. Trimming a Hunt Master just because it dies to a lot of stuff. Could potentially trim more. We'll see. A lot of stuff that deals too. Certainly. This would be a lovely hand against this card. Not so much right now. I mean, I kind of would like to risk it. We at least have the Cinderglade, hoping two chances to see the second land for both Thunderherd migrations. I'm going to give it a go. Hmm. We've taken one game from them already. Now the question is, do I like Carnage Turn? Well, we'll send it to the bottom. We have four copies in total. Still a very good chance. Oh, there's the second land. Beautiful stuff indeed. Uh, now the question... Oh, a third land. Well, the question really becomes... Do they have a counter spell? Oh, they may just have damage base removal. Fiery impulse, volcanic spite. Both of those things are doing nothing. And we will want to try and take out this goblin token if at all possible, which may not be possible. Question is, another Thunderherd? Topiary? We'll go with Topiary Stomper. We'll use up not quite all the mana, but I still want to ramp, absolutely. That's what had to happen. We'll have potentially seven green mana next turn. That's going to be our ticket with the Castle Garen Break there. Shifting for four, Topiary for three, a total of seven, and possibly even more. Although, we don't have too many more turns. They might just play a big score right here, make a bunch of treasures, and do the painful thing. You know what. <sighs> yeah, I could do that. I'm just double checking that when I use Castle Garenbrig, it leaves that red source up. Because I want to go Huntmaster, Topiary shifting. If this isn't countered, of course, which I think it may be. Hopefully not. Oh, oh that's good. That's good. Hopefully Topiary lands. Probably saving four for that big score. So they may not be able to counter anything, potentially. They really need to have the big score go off. But we got eight to block. Shifting, they can't. Okay, this is good, good, good. I'm liking the looks of this. Huh. Big score. All right.
right? It, it's coming up. It's got to be. We have just enough to save ourselves, which is pretty insane. Oh, don't look at that big score. Okay, okay. Uh, 12, 5, 8 plus 5, 13. Yeah, yeah, we can just just barely save ourselves. As long as that goblin doesn't attack. It would be pretty cool to save myself, although... I mean, it's not like we're going to recover with a bunch of bodies. It is still just Thunderherd Migration. Yeah, no, okay, okay. Well, there it is. That's how she goes. Yeah, 30, 30. Pain. Suffering. Yeah. But we had just enough to save ourselves. Again, not that it was going to do anything. Hmm. Okay, okay. That's sprinkle in a wee bit of single target interaction certainly could be nice. I want to go as fast as possible, though. I've... Yeah, you know what? Let's trim Nullhide Ferox. I want Galta. Big time. Have all those creatures that can't be countered. Some of them. Some of them. I was thinking of trimming Tyrannix Rex. But I love that. Big. Impactful potential. Yeah, we're mostly crossing our fingers here. Oh. Okay. Infinitely better. That should work out quite nicely. Thunderherd on turn two. Topiary turn three. Regisaur turn four. Oh boy. It's been quite some time since I've faced this as well, I must say. Hopefully this Thunderherd doesn't get countered by some random thing for one. Good. Would have been surprised if that was the case. I I haven't played it in a while, Heaven. No, mostly it has just been this. I've... I'm certain I'll revisit it at some point, though. Have no fear. Shapeshifter weapons. Ooh, that would be quite stunning indeed. I just love the art style. And I think uh, you appreciate the art style as well. It's something about it. Simple. It has its own charm. Easy to play on a lot of systems as well, just because of how the art style is. And do I want to go... Uh, I kind of want to go Thunderherd Migration to attack with Tokyo. Yeah, Regisaur. Uh, we're trying it. We're trying it. Okay. Okay, they got to make disappear. That's all right. We certainly could have tried that Thunderherd Migration, unfortunately. That's too bad. I haven't played League of Legends in a while. It has mostly been this. I'd be looking to revisit that at some point. Definitely. At least we got the four, although I would imagine a big score is coming up. They won't counter any of these things, sadly. We just have to hope a big score is not. Both Thunderherd migrations get basic lands out of the library slightly. Okay. No big score. Ah, well, we should have a very good chance to get something. Carnage Tarrant, Tyrannix Rex, doubling up on the removal, though, to take out Topiary Stomper is good. A hundred, a hundred percent Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I played something other than Magic the Gathering, but... Yeah, I'm loving it enough playing one thing all the time. I know it is not for everybody. Yeah. That's the main thing. Have a good time doing whatever you're doing. Well, not such a good time here, unfortunately. Oh boy. They might have it next turn. Hmm. No more lands. Oh, 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 Tepic Huntmaster is not what I want to see again. Uh, a wee bit flooded. Quarter of the way through. 
No carnage or T-Rex or shifting. Hmm. Uh, sucks. Den of the bugbear. Make that goblin. Have something that they can target. Or, oh, you, my goodness, another Thunderherd migration. So, nothing much you can do. We'll get something big eventually. It may be too little too late, I would imagine, at this point, though. No, Marauding Raptor not quite going to cut it. Yeah, I imagine it's happening now, sadly. No, they're just beating us down with Dunn at the Bugbear. Very interesting. They have something for two that could finish off Marauding Raptor. I imagine they got something up their sleeve. I'll keep blocking the goblins. We gotta get something at some point. Give it haste, hopefully, with Huntmaster. Oh, another Huntmaster. We're a third of the way into the deck. Kinda like the scenario that happened last night very very similar actually I could take out a land that would make a big difference it would make a, a slight difference but not a lot this is just something that happens now yeah. hmm Oh, yes, they can target it now. They got uh, five. Painful. Just 22. Just 22. Nothing crazy. Nothing fancy. Well, we finally got a shifting ceratops. Oh, my goodness. Again, that is not really enough to do much. We'll still play Huntmaster, Marauding. We've got a bunch of bodies now, so maybe that is going to help us a bit. We have something that can block that shark, which perhaps is going to buy us a bit of time if they don't do their thing this turn. I imagine they're going to do their thing this turn. Or just finish us off with play with fire. Maybe. Huh. Ah, I see. So they had the big, the, they had the world spine worm in their hand, and they had to put it into the graveyard. Okay, okay. And they have five now, so okay. Ooh, Zen oh, Zenagos, interesting. Okay, well, well this is uh. Oh, cool. Cool. Give it, uh... That's pretty neat. I can't attack with Shifting Ceratops, unfortunately. But... I will attack with Marauding. Oh, my goodness. No more land. No more lands. As long as shifting can stay there, we get to continually block that pesky shark. No creativity. Yes, yes. Okay, now searching for the worm and, uh, yeah. Then we uh, we just die. We just die. Can't really get anything. Could have 
well, would have expected something a little bit more impactful quite a bit sooner than that. No, it's going to happen to everybody. You can't escape scenarios like that. Boom, boom, boom. We'll get him. Get well, not exactly revenge against creativity because there is such a widespread most nights. It's quite rare that I face the same deck twice. But, but again, there was that Rakdos night about six months ago where it was four times. Ooh. Scorpion, how's it going? Dino Avatar Mono Black Discard Sacrifice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's going pretty good. I mean, painful flooding. I didn't see a single Carnage Tarrant or Tyrannix Rex. And I went past a quarter of the way through the deck. I got down to 38 cards left in the deck and I still hadn't seen a Carnage or T-Rex. Flooded out again. Kind of similar to a couple times it happened last night but otherwise always a good time I love it I would hope to see something for three or less we got Yorion Sky Nomad so something controlly related enchantments could be a lot worse I imagine we'll see something for three or less by turn three or turn two and I do like seeing Castle Garenbrig I must say Oh, somebody's saying hello. This could be five color. Fi oh, this does seem like it might be five color fires of invention. Huh. I wonder. Oh, yes, yes. I know that. Uh, I know that one. Painful, painful stuff. We'll get Huntmaster down. We'll hope for the best that it isn't killed by something. Leyline Binding coming in hot. I'd be surprised if I didn't see Leyline Binding. Oof, a wrath. What's going on? What deck is this? Huh. Okay, give me a... Uh, give me a mana for this turn. That is beautiful stuff. I get to play Marauding Plus Rip Trap because I'm at five. <laughs> Love it. That's what I want to be doing. Well, I don't want to be drawing more lands, of course, but how she goes. We eventually got to some cheap stuff there, getting a little bit of value. A to oh, so what is this? Five color ramp? I don't know. Certainly seems to be the case. Pretty big sapperling there, that's for sure. Which I can't attack with. Oh, wow. Well, I would imagine Rip Jar Raptor is going to get us a little bit. Now, I could go Castle Garenbrake, make six green in anticipation of potentially drawing another Rip Jar and be able to play the other Rip Jar if I draw it. Or Topiary. Something. something. Well, but Cinderglade it is. All right, maximum aggression. Take it down, Raska. Betrayal Sting. Not. Oh, block Rip Jar. Please give me. Some card draw. I like it. That is a beautiful thing still. Oh, that was finally, finally, we got Carnage Tat. We're a quarter of the way through. We saw one of the eight big scary dinos. Whew. I like it. Hopefully I see Xenagos at some point here. Although it is only one copy. And you see how hard it is to see one of eight things big scary dinos so one copy of a single card huh that's gonna be really unlikely highly at least marauding raptor does go to four power threatens that topiary stomper this should be good Vraska betrayal sting guaranteed to die probably should read what she does I know it's painful let's take a look you draw a card, lose a life, proliferate. Yeah. Minus two. A creature becomes a treasure. Well, that can be helpful. Target player has fewer than nine poison counters. We get poison counters. Okay. 
now we don't have to worry about poison counters or creatures going down. Sarah and Finn. Ooh, this a match made in heaven. Absolutely. Yeah, it just looks like five color. Oh, oh, Tyrannix Rex. Go big, go home. Get, get her done. Have some fun. <laughs> That's what should have happened. The previous match. So many lands never seem to pay off for that. That's why I like having eight. Combine both. Kill him. Ouch. Hopefully they don't have a sweeper, which I would... Well, I could see them having a sweeper. Yeah. They could have Doomscar, that card that they foretold in their hand. Huh. Oh, 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 we got a Carnage Tart doesn't really matter if we play marauding if they have a sweeper we might as well save marauding from it or other that five color emergent ultimatum ramp we aren't technically dead yet depending what we choose we have them shuffle one card back into their library so we keep the two things that are not so scary I don't think it's guaranteed, but we're about to find out. It all depends what they have in their hand, which of course, we don't know what it is. That would be useful information. It's gotta be something good, they're down to one. Some sort of sweeper. Cut, how's it going? You joined at a, oh yes, this, this. Okay. I'll explain this, because usually these three things are chosen with Emergent Ultimatum. We can't have Liliana enter and Vorinclex, because Vorinclex doubles Liliana. She enters with 12 loyalty, so immediately she ultimates. We sacrifice all creatures except one, all lands except one. So Liliana has to go. 100%. They have lots of painful stuff in their hand. I just have to hope they don't have a Liliana in their hand. It's very complicated, yes. There we go. Boom. By ourselves, maybe a bit of time. We'll see. Phew, phew. I dodged a bullet slightly. If I had a shifting ceratops, it would fly right past a Traxa. Actually, never mind. They just replay Emergent Ultimatum. Oh, so we definitely die. Yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, we're, not, uh, we're not winning that one. I mean, there's a very slim sliver that they wouldn't have had much in their hand. We might have bought ourselves a turn, but uh, as you saw there, we didn't. I'll go back and explain it, though. So just lots of ramp, and then they play Emergent Ultimatum. Search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. When an opponent chooses one of those cards, shuffle it into your library. You can cast the other cards without paying their mana costs, then you exile it. So one of the three is Omniscience. They can cast spells from their hand without paying their mana cost, so we were about to face down more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. I don't want that to happen, but it can't be Vorinclex. Well, it can't be a combination of Vorinclex and Liliana. That just, that can't happen. It, it Basically, it's over. It's almost guaranteed to be over. That's the main thing here. It's just, uh, it's just painful painful stuff. However, I could bring in Back to Nature to take out Omniscience. I send Liliana back, take out Omniscience. Oh, that would be good. Let's try that. That could be very, very sneaky indeed. We'll trim Ripjaw because, well, I think I would rather shifting Ceratops, come to think of it. They don't interact a whole lot. There could be a very good chance we do actually get to Galta. 
Yeah. Let's trim three Tyrannix Rexes. The costlier of the big scary dinos. Keep Galt and hope we can get the job done. But yeah, sometimes you so close. Down to one. Very, very unfortunate. Hopefully we don't get quite as flooded, and certainly that is not quite as flooded. We got that back to nature. Take note, Omniscience, I think we could have a good chance with this one. As long as we get Topiary, maybe they have a bit of removal or interaction from rotting. Hopefully not. Lit oh, well, good, no fatal push. I would imagine most of their stuff is geared towards ramp. Get as much mana as quick as possible. Play that emergent ultimatum and yeah, dead. Languish, Shadow's Verdict, that should be okay. We got back to nature to take out Omniscience where they're just playing a bunch of stuff for free. Not today. That is also good. But we got enough time, I think we should be able to raise them. Simply playing Regis or Alpha, smacking them for a bunch. They better have a sweeper next turn or else we're gonna... Well, it's gonna be bad. If they don't sweep us next turn, they are dead. They could have a languish, taking out everything, unfortunately. Hopefully you didn't just jinx it. Oh boy. Minus four, minus... Oh, Supreme Verdict is supremely good. Although we are still safe, we'll play Carnage turn four, six. Love it. Look at that. Yeah. Play another sweeper. Do it. You better have a sweeper every single turn. They have six mana. They can't go Emergent Ultimatum, which has a mana value of seven. They can make a Sacrifice Carnage Tarrant. They can't tar... Oh, good. Solemn Simulacrum. We still might kill him. We have Shifting Ceratops, which can... Oh, we got him. We, we got him. Folks. Folks. We got him. Boom. Six. Shifting. Haste and trample. We have to use the mana right now. And we could also play stomping ground, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. Oh, okay, well, I'm just happy it was fast enough. If they had gone first, they would have probably gotten the Merchant Ultimatum. Phew. Okay, okay. We'll hope to do that, but again, I think Back to Nature is going to save us, keep things as is. I like it. I like it. Let's get that nice big Galta soon, fast. I don't know about this one. Mm. Don't exactly like it. I would like to see Back to Nature, but I do like Topiary Stomper getting us to four. Hopefully seeing a fifth land, drawing a fourth land to get to Regisaur. Uh, one mulligan. Let's, okay. Mm -hmm. We can't mulligan forever. We'll have to keep that. But I do like Castle Garenbrick. Getting us that carnage turn to look. Oh, there's the back to nature. Back in action. Back to having a chance. Ramp, do some stuff. That's all right. Should probably re read the Weather Seed Treaty. Target creature you control gets plus X, plus X, trample. Number of basic land types among lands you control. Huh. Interesting. Make a thing big temporarily all right another weather seed treaty i'm kind of tempted to go back to nature oh absolutely that is nice we it is a very good point if you can get the win without showing some secret tech that is going to help it's good but i think i have to hold off on back to nature i would like to try hopefully Oh my goodness, well, I think you know what is coming up next turn. 
So we have to save it. You saw how fast they ramped and... Yeah, just... just nothing you can do. That sapperling is going to be pretty darn big. But again, they do have seven. Enough for that emergent ultimatum, which I expect to happen. So unfortunately, well, we'll only be hit with Vorn clicks for six plus the token. That's okay. I like it. I like it. Hopefully this works. Cross your fingers. Still a lot of damage. I still think we're dead, but uh, you never know. We're mostly dead. Oh yes, absolutely, and that's the big thing. That is a very, very important thing. But again, they could just have another ultimatum. Yeah, we had that chance. If they played Vorn Clicks first, that would enter. Omniscience would enter, but we'd have to wait for them to do something to be able to blow it up. But because Omniscience was before Vorn Clicks, I waited for it to enter. Vorn Clicks was on the stack, and then they weren't able to make full use out of. Ooh, another back to nature, back in action. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, another Regis or Alpha. We need multiple bodies at this point. But I still want to hold back. Nah, they don't have anything in hand. We got to go Regisaur. That's what it's got to be. We're a little bit too low still. I think. Maybe if we were a little bit more... Oh, oh, that's a lot. Oh, my goodness. An 8-8. Eight, eight. And trample. Painful stuff. Okay, now we're probably dead. We're pretty close. Yeah, sometimes you just, well, you don't see the big stuff you hope to see. Xenagos would be nice. Still wouldn't be a creature. Yeah, no, we're, uh, we just don't get things. We saw the thing. We tried a thing that would kind of help, but still seems like it's too little, too late. Try to go as fast as possible. And we did get the job done going that fast. But they just have so much ramp. You gotta be faster than this. An actual aggro deck. Lots of creatures that cost one, two, maybe a little bit of damage straight to the opponent's face. A rough matchup overall. Not a very common one. Of course, if it was, I'd try some different stuff. At least we tried one thing. And we have a potential angle to help us out a little bit. Fish flies, huh? Mono black, ah, that's my guess. Pretty fantastic hand right there. Two lands, marauding, hunt master, topiary, rip jaw, beautiful. That should do the trick. Not so much against mono white humans. The third land, though, well, we might be able to get good enough bodies as long as they don't uh, exile Huntmaster, maybe with Ossification or Brutal Cathar. Either of those things would be quite brutal. Seeing another Ripjaw, though, makes me feel pretty good. Rotting for one, Ripjaw for two to ping, draw a card. Phew. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, is not a problem whatsoever. Gotta take that five. We need that cost reduction from Huntmaster. Gotta stack it so we can attack it. If they don't have something for Ripjaw, that is going to be an absolutely beautiful deterrent for this deck in particular. 
we can't attack because, again, Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, has first strike, so she's going to deal damage first. I almost, almost forgot about that. Phew! Not too bad, not too bad. That's still looking pretty good. Things get a little big, but I still don't think they want to attack. Or maybe they do. We're getting pretty low at 12. And Ripjaw just would not be advantageous whatsoever. Okay, we scared him off, folks. We scared him off. That's exactly what I want to do. Domi, though, to take out the Copper Coat Vanguard big time. That's it. That's it. Don't ask questions. Just do this. Boom. Reduce all the power across the board. The ward. Oh, and Galta to boot. Well, well, well. We'll still hold things back. They could have Brave the Elements, which we wouldn't be finished. I think we'll finish them next turn. I love it. The Queen reigns once again. They may want to take out Darmy, but they can't because we got beautiful, stunning bodies. We can't fight, so we ramp. This is what dinosaurs are all about. Regisaur for three, Galta for two, and the opponent is going to be crying. A hard match, it is. It is absolutely cut. Is that just mostly lethal? Lethal enough? Galta's 13 right there. That's beautiful. Thalia would trade with Marauding Raptor. Don't like that. Eh, I'll just attack with Galta. We'll play it safe. They don't have enough to take her out. Maybe if they were lower... Bad stuff could happen. Absolutely. They could have that Brave the Elements in hand. That would be rough. Let's play it safe. Good, good, good. Oh, absolutely cut. That does seem good. That's exactly what you hope for. You never know what you're going to get. You're going to have one match... Painful all around. Lands for days, praying and hoping to see something you would, well, theoretically, statistically hope to see. But then you have that. Doesn't get better. I must say, Domri, though, hmm, just a touch of interaction, and certainly to my detriment, I could sprinkle in a little bit more to. Domri's has the only interaction against opponent's creatures. Sometimes that is painful, but we have lots of fantastic aggression to just beat them up. Good. Mm. Oh. Excuse me. I drank my pop too fast. Yeah, beat them up good. Better than they can beat us up, I hope. However, Karn Silex, that's the thing I want against humans. Oh, my goodness, man. Really drank it too fast. Trim Carnage turned and Train Rex. I know crazy stuff. Now we're still at a pretty healthy 19 dinos in the list. But Karn Silex is the, the hoser of humans. And they are going first. And we got very fortunate. They were mana screwed, which bought us enough time to get better bodies. We still might have gotten the job done if they hadn't missed. Maybe... They've gotten their third land on turn three. I think we still could have done good stuff. Ooh, that is good stuff. That's a keeper. 100%. Hopefully they don't have portable hole or something that deals with Huntmaster. I imagine they may have prioritized or wanted to prioritize a hand with a little bit of interaction. A little bit more interaction.
Well, we'll play it. We'll play it and we'll hope. Nothing we can trade with. Thalia's lieutenant is likely going to become a 2-2. Sometimes I just throw Hunt Master to block a creature if I can trade with it. Usually you can't because it's uh, one power. Oh, okay, we can trade with a, a dinky little thing. This may be too little too late. Certainly I could have maybe mulliganed a little bit for a card in Silex. But sometimes that is too slow. Again, it enters tapped. You gotta wait usually to have it untap and sacrifice it to decimate everything that Mono White Humans is doing. Well, we're not dead yet. Marauding, Topiary, we can make something happen. Possibly. Domri next turn, use Domri and Topiary to fight Adeline, Resplendent Cathar. Yeah, that would be good. I would imagine Thalia's Lieutenant would block Marauding. I want to save the cost reduction. We could see Galta next turn as well, which we would be able to play, give it haste, maybe get the job done that way. Marauding does reduce Galta by three. One with the cost reduction, two with its power. Well, right there was four, so it was helping to reduce Galta by five temporarily. Oof, that's, I jinxed myself talking about it. Exiling that Marauding Raptor, I would imagine. Hmm. Okay, okay. Pretty good. Actually, they'll make Mutavolt a creature. That is... That's gotta be it. Yeah. No. We're not coming back from that. They're attacking with everything, aren't they? Oh my goodness, this person is... Uh, You want to attack with everything? Nothing. I'm not going to take them out in one hit. I'm not going to be playing a whole lot next turn. They should attack with everything. Good, 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 good. Just double checking. Ah. Okay, okay. Where's that Karn Silex? Let's go a little bit faster. A little bit bigger. Have a similar game as the first one. We know we have a thing against this deck in particular. They have protection for all their creatures, all white creatures they control, get protection from a certain color. So, Brave the Elements doesn't protect against Karn Silex. Because Karn Silex is colorless, which is pretty fantastic, doesn't matter how big they are, boom. Doesn't matter how many counters, it is just the mana value. This didn't have Karn Silex, of course, but it seemed absolutely fantastic. With Marauding, Topiri, Regisaur, and now Domri as well. I I like it. Certainly something I wouldn't mulligan away. Just too good. Even though it doesn't have that hate. Ooh, Portable Hole. Portable Hole? Okay, okay. Huntmaster a little bit unfortunate, it doesn't always happen, and sometimes the opponent just kills Marauding Raptor anyways. But do I want to take out Dauntless Bodyguard? Oh, kind of tempted to do that. Now, Topiary Stomper. Ramp a little bit, Regis or Alpha next turn, or Domri. Use Topiary and Domri like it was trying to, the previous game, to fight and take out something big. And we'll attack with Marauding. I like that. If they want to double block, it's fine by me. I'll have five next turn, four Regis or Alpha. So I think that would be perfectly okay. If I didn't have the fifth land and was able to do this, I don't think I would have done that. But I got Domri. If they play Adeline, we take her out. Maybe we lose Topiary to Brutal Cathar. Something. Okie dokie, well. 
kind of like the Nullhide Ferox as well. Let me think. Adeline. Weedasaur. Weedasaur Alpha it is. Let's do it. Oh boy. Hopefully Galta next turn. Again, I'm thinking I'm going to increase Galta to four copies because I can play her easily, often. With Topiary, all the creatures, it is almost never difficult. Some matchups it is, so maybe you take copies of Galta out if you think those early creatures are going to be killed. Might not make as much sense to keep Galta in. Maybe they don't have any more interaction. Oh, Gideon Blackblade. Well, I'm taking that guy out if at all possible. Hmm. Vigilance, Life Lincoln, Indestructible. That's, uh, that's perfectly okay by me. Actually, what am I thinking? Regisaur to stop Adeline, Token to stop that, and, uh,. Oh, the Karn Silex to boot. Wow. That's where I want to be. But I still like taking out Adeline. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. Dommy for three, Huntmaster for two. Do we use Regisaur to take her out? And we take out Gideon. Boom. I think we're in a pretty fantastic position. Regis or Alpha going to 5 power. I only have to send Regis or Alpha towards it with Domri's boost in power to everybody. Beautiful stuff. Should probably increase Domri to 3 copies, come to think of it. We're getting very fortunate seeing him as often as we are. Brutal Cath Army? It's not so bad. Huntmaster, oh my, okay, okay, I'll take it. Oh, that's not Galta. But we still got a lot of good stuff coming up. Yeah, let's just do Ferox. Ferox and Marauding Raptor, attack with everything. I think we pretty much have them. They only have one card left. They're all tapped out. They can't somehow go brave the elements. I like paying four for a 7-6. That's good, I must say. Even against a deck that isn't this card, No Hide Ferox is a pretty decent creature. We can't play Karn Silex. We have to pay two to remove those abilities to play it, which is not a big problem. No. Oh. Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. All right, so right, so right. Revenge. Revenge is beautiful. Yeah. I must say, Domri. Domri was the all star in that matchup. Didn't really need Karn Silex. <laughs> Again, getting the job done with the fantastic package of creatures makes me think again. Hmm, I, I could have that whatever spot Karn Silex is for spots in the sideboard. Something. Maybe not super specific, but kind of specific. Something that might help against creativity and other stuff. A braid, of course. Creativity opponents are afraid of a braid. Because we can deal three damage to a creature, taking out potentially the token that indomitable creativity targets, or destroy an artifact, taking out the clue or the treasure that they're targeting, stopping creativity in its tracks, hoping they don't have spell pierce to protect it. Um, it's kind of rough. 
One mulligan. Ooh. <laughs> well, it got worse. I must say it is nice to see a bunch of carnage tyrants. We'll send one to the bottom. I don't want a mulligan again. We do have a turn to play. We'll get to three lands and hope to get to four for Ripjaw. Mono Green Devotion match. Oh, okay, good. Good, we draw another land. We're looking a little bit better. At least able to play that rip jaw. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's that. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Because I know they're not interacting because of the deck it is. We can go Hunt Master, Hasty Rip Jaw. Oh, well, right. Hasty Rip Jaw next turn. And they they got they got the Nykthos. Okay. Oh, they're all done. They got nothing left in hand. This could be our moment here, folks. Hoping it is. I'm just going to be as aggressive as possible, do as much damage as possible. Certainly, if Ripjaw was held back, Old Growth Troll would never attack into it. Oh my goodness. So, well, this is interesting. Oh, we got Galta. We got Galta. Yes, please. We'll pay one. We'll pretend we don't have anything. Not that it does much revealing, not revealing. I'm just not going to attack. We need all that power to stick around. Hopefully getting Galta next turn. Well... Not quite. Hunt Master for two, reducing gold. Now nah, it's it's Carnage Turn. Carnage Turn time. Big time for Carnage Turn time. Imagine everything would block to take it out. They have a total of six power, which is fine by me. Okay, they oh, no, they don't. All right. Hopefully, it's not. Uh, too little, too late, and they don't have that storm. The festival, getting Kiora, another Nykthos, Karn, making us sacrifice all our still boy. Okay, okay. I imagine that's it. Kiora untapping Nykthos, ten mana, replay a storm. The festival. Uh, hopefully, it's just two lands. Lands and Dorcas. Oh, well, boy. We should be good. Still. They only have one mana left, potentially with the Mystic. I think we're safe. Phew. I don't care. I'll take any win against Mono Green Devotion. Grab that portal to Phyrexia. Do it. Ooh. Haywire might. Why was it Haywire might? Huh. Okay. Just get another creature, I guess. Oh. Xenagos to boot. Man, that would be lovely to go Xenagos and Galta. I must say. But that's going to do it. Hasty. Two for a 12 12 haste. That's what you want. Probably in a lot of cases. Some cases, Galta is better than Ancient Imperiosaur. Two. 12 12 trample. You don't have to tap three colors or three creatures to put six counters on Ancient Imperiosaur to get it to the 12 power. Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, phew. Yeah, Galta just does the trick. Hasty Galta is amazing, absolutely. I must say, don't be afraid. Don't listen to the naysayers. Oh, I just have one Galta. You never want to see multiple copies. Oh, it's so bad. No. 
She is so good. You want to see her often. Do you not? You're basically never going to see Galta with one copy. Even if you have commune with dinosaurs. One green, look at the top five. Yeah, but we've seen tonight. I've gotten, again, a third of the way through the deck and not seen one of these eight big scary dinos. So you think you're going to see one copy of one particular thing? Hmm. Jam a bunch. You're going to play her for dirt cheap more often than not. If the opponent has a counter spell, oh, nuts. You play the first one for two, they counter it. You play the other copy you have in hand for two, and they can see it on the spot because they hate that you have multiple copies. It's not, it, even if you have to pay three for the first one, three for the second one, that's not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Possibly if you have two Marauding Raptors out, you play the first one, both Marauding Raptors ping the first Galta, you play a second Galta, they ping the second one, and you sacrifice the first one, so they get a little bit bigger from pinging another dinosaur, and just... Hmm, hmm. Packs a punch. Indeed. But, Mono Green Devotion, I was kind of thinking. Karn Silex. Take out all the creatures, the planeswalkers, the enchantments. That would be nice. What do I want to switch? That's the question. Ah, we'll leave it like that. I had too much fun talking about the potential of Galta. Always happy to do that. Man, she's, uh, she's the queen for a reason. But again, they, the opponent can target her easily, of course. Galta doesn't have ward, like Ancient Imperiosaur has ward too. But I think for the most part, it's okay. Hmm. Still don't like that. If it was a source of red, absolutely, I would keep it. One more. One. Okay, that's better. That's better. Sadly, having to send two to the bottom. I'll keep... Oof, I almost missed that. Yeah. I almost sent Topiary to the bottom. And I may not have had a dinosaur to reveal for, or the turn to Thunderherd migration. It's mostly guaranteed, but I didn't want to risk it. Not being able to go Thunderherd on turn two is, well, it's not good. Yes, yes, absolutely, and that is a good thing. I have used other artifact stuff before, artifacts that tap for mana, and I'm like, oh, why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? And I forget about Karn's passive, because I don't use artifacts all that much, and I kick myself. I hate Karn even more. Well, uh, hate's too strong of a word. I wouldn't mind facing Mono Green Devotion every match in a night. A very, very good practice. For a very, very good deck. That, uh... I mean, they didn't have Storm the Festival. They're barfing a bunch. We just gotta hope that the last card in their hand isn't, uh... Well, it isn't you-know-what. Fortunately, we get to go Marauding plus Topiary, getting to either Tyrannix Rex or Carnage Turned, again, because of Castle Garenberg there. Too little, too late. We're about to find out. Ah, super aggressive, okay, okay. I can respect it. I mean, I must say, just a bunch of 5.5s, five 4.4s, fives, four fours, that Lair of the Hydra could get very big and nasty as well. Could we potentially save ourselves? Well, not so much. Not so much. We'll play Tyrannix Rex because it is bigger than Carnage Tired. That's not going to do it. We are going to die, but perhaps this opponent being in silver means we won't. Maybe they'll miss it. You never know. That's gotta be it. It's too bad Topiary Stomper couldn't block. Would be nice to stop that big 
Lair of the Hydra. Oh, okay, interesting. Now they still have it with the tokens, yeah. They're attacking with everything. What? Whoa, whoa, okay. Well, what did I say? Maybe they would miss lethal, and they did. I'll take it. Do you want to take something out? Uh, not so much. Take a love struck beast with Darmy. I think that's basically our best bet. Yeah. I, I don't. I can't believe how they missed it. Even being in silver, that is strange. Uh, maybe I draw Xenagos. Maybe they continue to miss it. Maybe they're worried now that the Love Struck Beast has gone down. Uh, maybe I get my seventh land next turn. Play Carnage Tarrant. I'm not going to count my luck a second time, though. Yeah. That'd be nuts. No, Porto to Phyrexia is coming up. They're not going to do Haywire. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. They're so focused on getting lots of mana, they're not used to just maybe beating us down. They always just default to ramp, 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 get Karn, get Porto to Phyrexia, make them sacrifice. Hmm. They don't take the time to do the math and realize that they actually do have lethal. However, Karn Silex, that's what we're doing. Like I was mentioning, I won't get sidetracked sideboarding right now. I still love Domri, all this stuff. Again, they're not interacting much. They needed, they needed to win with Karn. It's like, oh, I can't win any other way other than Karn wishing for a thing to hurt my opponents. There's no other way for Mono Green Devotion to do it, I guess. That's how it seems. I will keep... No, no. All Tyrannix Rex. Ripjaw Raptor, actually, I feel, is pretty good against Mono Green Devotion. The Old Growth Troll is a 4-4. Ripjaw Raptor being a 4-5 is a pretty fantastic body right there. Now let's do it. Karn Silex, blow up all the creatures. The Planeswalkers will take out Karn, of course, so we can actually blow him up, or, excuse me, we'll focus Karn. If we, oh, if we have to, okay, okay. I don't have to mulligan at all. Again, no turn one play, so I get to comfortably have my red source enter tapped. Oh, another Karn Silex, oh my goodness, this... I think I may just go Karn Silex next turn, and then we have it out, and then we pop it whenever it makes sense to do so. When we pop it, we take out that Wolf Willow Haven, we take out both dorks, all three, okay, oh, no question about it. As long as there's no Karn next turn, I feel pretty good. And we just have to cross our fingers. Storm of the Festival does not get Karn. Oh, oh, oh I, I jinxed it. Dang! Oh, oh I, I jinxed it big time. Haywire might to take out Karn Silex. Uh, I have two. But I have another Karn Silex to boot. Yeah. So we will be able to take out... Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, that's, that's fine by me. Play Ripjaw. Give it haste, attack, and Heyoar Might will block Ripjaw, sacrifice itself before damage is dealt, and they won't lose Karn. But uh, well, that's how it goes. Would have been nice for Regis Ralph, I must admit. Maybe we would have been able to sneakily get it. So they know about sacrificing before damage to take out a thing to stop an attacker, but they don't know how to do the math to get lethal. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hopefully it's not too low. Oh, treasure vaults. That's okay. Just go minus two to grab a land. Painful. Oof, Kiora. At least they don't have Nykthos. That's good. They do have six for Storm the Festival. <laughs> Lands. Oh, oh, okay. Another, another Kiora. Lovely. It's always painful. They have one Kiora out. One of the hits on Storm the Festival is another Kiora. But Lovestruck Beast enters the battlefield the same time as the second copy of Kiora. So both copies of Kiora are out at the same time and you get two card draws off of that and uh, well, it's not so pretty also not so pretty I'm still missing the fourth land we got it now can't attack into that love struck beast sadly man man that's, i shouldn't have said karn too loud I, I said it too much i jinx myself big time maybe karn is going to get the ban hammer Coming up on October 16th, I believe it is. There's going to be a ban announcement, maybe for multiple formats, maybe for none. They won't make any changes. Who knows? Yeah, even if they don't do anything to Mono Green Devotion, I'll still do everything I can to bring the pain to them. Still no Nykthos. I'll take it. At least we got Galta next turn, I would imagine. Attack with that love struck beast. Do it. You know you wanna. That's still okay ish. Hmm. Well, we'll play Galta. Attack with Galta. They would have to use at least three creatures combined to kill her. Which would be nice. Let's do it. I think Ripjaw Raptor might live as well. Hopefully it does. Mono Green is everywhere. Always everywhere. A classic deck of the format. Absolutely. I want to attack with Ripjaw to maybe draw my fifth land, which I can play, and then play Karn Silex and hope we don't die to stuff. Land. You can do it. Oh, oh, it's land. It's land. Play it. Karn Silex. Go time. Go time. Here goes nothing. We're not dead next turn. They don't have enough damage. Uh, well, maybe Lair of the Hydra actually is going to do the trick. 10, 13, we'll see, okay, okay, maybe not, Pithing Needle, absolutely, even if they have Beseju, I'm fine with that, I play Pithing Needle turn 1, they go Beseju, they destroy it, they give me a land, and being ahead with that land might make all the difference for aggression and whatnot. Okay, well, we got an another Kiora and uh, untap a Nykthos and replay Star in the Festival. We'll see. 26, gre 26 green is 21. That's a lot. Ouch. Okay, okay, well, I know when uh, we're done for it. There's nothing you can do, but yeah. I could consider Pithing Needle. Shuts down a lot of stuff. It might just... Well, you could bring it in for a wide range of things. Liliana of the Veil. If you hate that. Pithing Needle. Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Boom. Can't tap to copy something. Many, many things. Ah, I think my favorite sleeve, if... I didn't play dinos as much as I do. Would probably be the gelatinous cube. Actually, you know what? Let's let's look at the sleeves. I actually own quite a bit. 
I don't own that gelatinous cube one. Oh, I own these special ones. This one, I must say, is pretty good. I'm thinking of using it because it kind of reminds me of myself. Maybe I'm holding my daughter there and we're having a good time. I am looking forward to teaching her Magic the Gathering. Oh, oh, these are amazing. It's a benefit of playing for quite some time. You have a chance to get all kinds of sleeves. Man, yeah. Guess I'll scroll through slowly so you guys can appreciate all of them. The Itali one. What? The Itali one. Where's the towel? Yes, yes, the Itali one. The cereal box style. There was a secret layer that was all three of these cards. We don't get the actual cards in this style. We just get it as a sleeve, unfortunately. One hen for the Xenagos. Okay, okay, definitely. I could see myself doing that. Certainly Xenagos could be nice, but the Great Henge. I mean, I certainly have big creatures. That extra card advantage, I must admit. Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll cut a land and replace it with the Great Henge, which is ramp itself sometimes. Hmm. Or just Xenagos, but yeah. More card draw or doubling a big creature to kind of have two of those creatures. Also kind of nice. A tally over the Galta. Mm, yeah. The orange is good. Of course, it always has to be Galta. Especially because the Timmy avatar sleeve is Galta. I kind of think it's Galta. It's got that stripe. But I do believe this art was done before Galt. I think this is pretty old art. Maybe it was done before Galt. But you see the side of the head there. It's got stripes. And then Galta has those same colored stripes almost. So um, something's up there. Maybe conspiracy theory. I should probably look into that. And yeah, just a, a bunch of sleeves. My goodness. Then it goes with Bard class. And the five mana Samet. I must admit, I like five mana Samet. Uh, haste to each other creature you control. And I think it has the ability you can pay one white tapper to tap a creature. I believe that's the five mana Samet. There's some versions of Samet that are a planeswalker as well. Ooh, okay, finally got to the sleeves I don't own. Which one were we looking for? The damage magic one. Oh, oh, the, the roughed up one that the opponent was using, yeah. Oh, I was looking for a gelatinous cube. Where? Huh. I guess it doesn't show gelatinous cube because you can't buy the sleeve, unless it is in the store. But it's green and it jiggles whenever you mouse over it. It's like, you know, gelatinous jello with that person inside it that is devouring. Ooh, scary stuff. Yeah, I got the, at least in my mind, the best sleeve for me. A tally, or Galta. I'm thinking about a tally. If I use a tally at some point, certainly I'll switch up that sleeve for it. Hmm. Yeah, the green cube with the guy stuck in it. Ooh, fantastic. Yeah, the white tap ability from Sam, it's never used. That's what, that's what I figured. It was just kind of fun to have maybe sometimes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's switch out Xenagos for a Great Henge. Yeah. Maybe have Great Henge plus Xenagos at some point. I've done that before. That's been pretty good. And I must admit, I kind of like using the Great Henge just because I have that extended art Japanese from Eldraine. Oh, what's my avatars? Avatars, we should look at that, yeah. We'll take a sec. A lot of them. 
Uh, well, a decent bit, I guess. I've done a few mastery passes, so I got a few of those. Actually, nothing too crazy. Still missing quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of Phyrexians. Vorinclex. I think Vorinclex is one of my favorites there. Just the expression on them. Elish Norn. Yeah, that's not too interesting. But man, you gotta admit, that is scary stuff. And especially with the Thanksgiving themed ring around the avatar. Vorinclex is getting hungry. Look at that face. Ready to eat a turkey or the person that ate a turkey. Vorinclex's meal stuffs itself. It doesn't even have to do work. That's like, that's what you want for a Thanksgiving meal. Hmm. Man. Already stuffed. Basted, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Never thought about it that way. I imagine Vorinclex probably eats a lot of weird things. Yeah, if I had to choose, that'd probably be my second favorite after the dinosaur Timmy Avatar. Timmy Power Gamer. Mm, beautiful. going to be hard to top that one hopefully heaven with lost caverns of ixalan we do get some other dinosaur avatars dinosaur sleeves yeah yeah but yeah this uh let me make the webcam a little bit bigger one second i think most of you guys have seen the extended art japanese Great hench. Oh, man. Beautiful. Still haven't taken it out of that top loader. I want to keep it nice and safe for whenever I do play at my local game store. However, this is a fantastic hand. I guess i got to shrink myself back. Oh, boy. Bear with me one second. I should really work on hotkey transitions to make that a little bit faster. Oh, it is a little bit unfortunate, and it's... Oh, Grease Fang. Parhelion 2 going to the graveyard. Hopefully not. But yeah. Oh, oh, I, I jinx myself. Man, I've never played against Grease Fang in my life. Uh, hashtag pre-recorded. There you go. But yeah, going back to that point, that... Yeah. And the Zoro... It's like some sleeves you can spend gold or gems, but then other stuff, it is just gems. I think there should always be that option, but maybe some sleeves they feel are super ultra premium, and uh, hey, the, it's a quick match, it's a quick match. We were on the draw, and they got the thing for turn three. Yeah, but yeah, the sleeve thing. I mean, I'm going to be paying anything. Gems, if it is only gems, and there's some other good dinosaur sleeves, you better expect uh, 50 bucks. Well, maybe not 50 bucks for a sleeve. Uh, I don't think I'll do that. I'd spend 30 bucks on a dinosaur-themed sleeve. Yeah, no, no. Uh, just, just that one. Well, actually, I do have... <coughs> excuse me, a bunch of German Magic the Gathering cards just because the German translations, they sound funny. They're my favorite. Flame Sweep, two in a red, instant speed, two damage to each creature. Flame Sweep in German is Flamenschwal. Oh, who does not love to say Flamenschwal? We want to go a little bit faster. Shifting Ceratops with the reach. Maybe blocking one of the angel tokens. Uh, I'll just go with Ripjaw. They don't have too much interaction. So there sometimes is a good chance we get the early stuff. They just focus on getting a thing into the graveyard. and yeah, I don't have much of anything against Grease Fang. 
I haven't faced Grease Fang in weeks. Could it, it could easily have been a month since I faced Grease Fang last. Yeah. <laughs> Flamin Schwal. Um, oh, what's a good one? Naaman Loser Grab Stein is Silent Gravestone, which would help against Grease Fang. For one, permanents in graveyards or cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. I'll go with Thunderherd Migration because we don't have anything to accelerate out. But if we played Silent Gravestone or Naaman Loser Grab Stein, Grease Fang couldn't target the vehicles in the graveyard because it's like graveyards have shroud, super hexproof, whatever you want to call it. Actually, we're going to go Huntmaster. We're going to hope they don't have a uh, fatal push. If Huntmaster sticks around, we get Tyrannix Rex next turn. That would be lovely. <laughs> Sacrificing the Stitcher Supplier to maybe search for grease fang we'll see it is nice they milled a bunch of stuff and they still did. oh 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 you can't leave hunt master alive you can't do that <laughs> they still don't have a vehicle in the graveyard they don't even have a third land so we should be killing them good good game and this is what happens with grease fang sometimes they just don't do the thing they were hoping to do. Oh, absolutely, the comeback. Too little, too late at this point. I'm going to make sure I can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I almost missed it. We need seven. Castle Grimbrick to make six. And we have one left over. And that one left over is a red source for Regisaur. Boom. We used up four of the seven, one of the red sources. We're left with three for Ripjaw. Got him. Boom. Make sure we get him. We, we had to kill him. Yeah, yeah. The Itali. Itali and the Domri Avatar. I could. The Domri Avatar is good. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll use the Itali sleeves for one of the nights, one of the first few nights when Lost Caverns of Ixalan releases. Just as a celebration way. Ah. Oh, I can't wait for the spoilers. The spoilers of the spoilers, like I mentioned last night, and I showcased that face commander for the vampire commander deck. A person has received that. So people have received other stuff. They have to have to have and there's pictures floating around of other cards it's going to happen in the coming days i bet mark my words where's that second land huh. can't keep that either okay okay well that's what we're doing at least we have three lands we get to domri and eventually rip drop but they might get the okay they go they got parhelion 2 into the graveyard painful well maybe they don't have grease fang in their hand probably do well at least we have a turn to play may not matter a whole lot I could slap in some graveyard hates trim card silex it wasn't it wasn't really a good game. They just did their thing. Nothing I can do. Nothing I had to do against that deck. It's not like I really care about it too much. If I was facing it, you know, once a day, maybe I'd bring in some graveyard hate. But it's still pretty narrow. Something like a sweeper would help against a lot more stuff. Damage base sweeper, whatever kind of sweeper it is. Brotherhood's end, three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. 
anything aggressive, Rakdos mid-range, you take out a lot of stuff. Gruel vehicles, a lot of gruel stuff is three toughness or less, bone crusher giant, reckless storm seeker, all the dorks, all the little 2-2 two -two cats from Essica's chariot, it really hurts that deck quite a bit as well. Looks like a beautiful hand. Got a bunch of lands, a bunch of ramp, a little bit of interaction as well, and the beautiful Ripjaw. If they have some early creatures, though, I'll play Topiary Stomper instead of Domri, so I maybe don't just lose it to some of the bodies that they've dropped. Marvel Snap? Oh, okay. Maybe I should download it and try it out after I'm done tonight. There's just so many good games, and I have heard some pretty good things about Marvel Snap. Hmm. Ah. Of course, I can't play anything here. I'm up for it. I just love one thing that, oh, that much. Oh, angels. Oh, my goodness. Back-to-back -back angels in two nights. Okay, okay, maybe I have to start bringing in that life gain hate. Ugh. My, oh my. Well, we could be dead next turn, depending if they play that resplendent, uh, whatchamacallit. Or just collect a company. Okay, set up with the Bishop of Wings. Attack with Jed and then tap her. Oh, wow. Well, I know what I'm killing. That there's no question. Don't, don't, uh, don't do anything. If you can kill her, you kill her, and hope they don't have protection. Phew. <laughs> yeah. 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 Marvel Snap. I could, I could see myself doing it. A uh, real Tyrannix Rex. I'm gonna be hoping to go Tyrannix Rex next turn. Maybe some couple things we'll see oh I know and speaking of tutorial I gotta get back to free to play dinos at some point maybe tomorrow tomorrow is my birthday that would be a pretty good celebration going back to how everything started it was a series called hatch to devour I changed the name up eventually but yeah yeah, I could, uh, that'd be a good birthday treat to you guys. Even if it's my birthday, I like doing something for other people. Because that's also a treat to myself. I feel good, other people feel good, everybody wins, and that's what it's all about. Birthday border with balloons. Oh, I gotta write that down, I don't want to forget. I certainly have had this border for quite some time. It was quite some time. At least, uh, yeah, we might be able to do some good stuff. Got a decent bit of aggression. What do I want to do? Yeah, slap down Carnage Tarnt. We want Carnage Tarnt. Yes, you did celebrate your birthday here. And that was lovely stuff. I did appreciate that. I didn't really need to attack with a token. Okay. Okay. Bishop of Wings didn't block. They are probably safe with all the life they're about to gain, but... Yeah, that was pretty special, Heaven. Kyla's Reconstruction were dead. Done. Probably. Okay, okay, yep. They're going to be gaining way too much life. Oh, back up to 26. Yeah. Well, we'll see if I face Angels again. Maybe Angels got quite popular just because, I don't know, somebody did good with them. Hard to say. Well, I'll play Marauding and Ripjaw. And that's about it. As long as they don't realize that, well, if Tranx Rex connects... They can't let a single point of Tranix Rex can... Oh, they, they know what they're doing. Okay. Nuts. Sometimes it is a... Uh, well, it does get a little bit sneaky. If I could give Tranix Rex 
double strike, of course. That would have won us. That could be a pretty nice thing to do, but uh, yeah, we're not uh, we're not winning that one. No siree. Yeah, Trainix Rex double strike. It connects twice, two separate times in a single turn, so it puts eight poison counters on the opponent. And then it only has to connect one more time, and if it has double strike, of course, it would win. In most combats, maybe the opponent only blocks with enough to kill it. But then, with double strike, it kills all those creatures first, and then still connects. Hmm. I've always wondered about that fact. I've done a little bit of double strike stuff. Ember Cleave, of course. That can be lovely. It's not in this particular variation. And other things that get double strike. Double the big scary thing that the opponent can't target or target in response to you putting ember cleave on a creature if i try to put ember cleave on rip jar raptor i might just kill it of course that's very rough if you target a creature that can be dealt with easily that's asking for trouble 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 blah blah blah, blah. trouble asking for trouble but this not so much. Angels, though. Karn Silex. Smoke them. Smoke them. I could see myself keeping Galta, but uh, we may not get there. Just might not happen. But I'll keep all four <coughs> Tranix Rexus because we could live just by getting poison counters on the opponent. I've done that before with Angels. They went down to four or five but they didn't account for the fact that they were at least going to get to ten and die that way as well okay okay instant keep we got the thing i was talking about and the thing to smoke all the angels doesn't matter how big they are how much life they have get the job done sometimes they're a little bit slow fortunately they didn't play anything that should buy us time easily being able to go Karn Silex next turn we set up we wait or we just don't play it we don't reveal that potential now nah, nah, we're doing it but we're doing it. it has to happen at some point phew hopefully no skyclave apparition to exile it that would also be rough Oh boy. I jinx myself. I, f I swear. I did not pre record this. I swear. If, honestly. Well, uh, maybe they don't play some angel to gain them a bunch of life next turn. You never know. Maybe I get Castle Game Big Witch. I would be able to go train X Rex. That would be lovely. Or they don't have collected company. But they probably don't have collected company. It's either that or Kyla's reconstruction to, well, get a bunch of stuff. This is going to be pretty painful, though. Righteous Valkyrie gaining them a bunch of life. Oh, boy. Can't exile Regisaur. Silly, silly, silly. I love it. They assume Regisaur Alpha has a mana value of 4, which they could exile it, but it has a mana value of 5, and Skyclave Apparition can only exile creatures like that. Well, we're not quite dead yet. I certainly don't think we can attack with everything. 5, 6 flying at the moment. Eh, I'll attack with the tokens. Do a little bit of damage. Maybe they're not scared. They're going to gain a bunch of life. <laughs> Do the job that way. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. We don't need to see that pain. That's, uh... Oof. 
just unlucky facing angels once again. I could have one or two rampaging Ferocidons, but that's also not a very good chance to see. But rampaging Frostdon, if I had to choose, it would be that over Giant Cinderma, just because rampaging Frostdon could help out in quite a few other matchups. Elves, something with a lot of little creatures. Rampaging Frostdon pinging each time a creature enters the battlefield for one damage. If you happen to get two copies, you stack that. The opponent getting pinged for two damage for each creature, and sometimes you just straight up lock out the opponent. However, as you saw there, angels have a little bit of answers. Exiling Rampaging Frostodon with the Skyclave Apparition. The second they see it, boom, it's gone. They're not going to exile anything else. They're going to save it and stop it. The music is booming. I do appreciate that, Heaven. I still haven't added too many new songs. It's been quite some time. It is about 78 or so. Monster Cat, the music label that I'm using to play these, they have like 10,000 to choose from. Thousands and thousands. So I certainly could add a few more. I think the playlist in total is about two and a half hours. It might be three hours. So there is some nights you don't hear any song because I just hit shuffle, let her go. DJ Arfi. Ooh. With the memes. Trying to find a good one to press. One one to press. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Bean. Well, it looks like maybe I found... Uh, the free win of the night to get a little bit of redemption for all the pain that has been dealt my way, unfortunately. I love that Mr. Beam one. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're, they're alive. They're alive. Oh, nuts. That's all right. That's a pretty decent hand still. Or maybe they're not. Oh, no, they're still alive. Okay. They fell asleep. Maybe. Maybe their countdown timer was pretty long and they just thought, oh, I'm going to go make a coffee, grab a bite to eat. Mono Green Devotion once again. Or Gruel. It could be Gruel. They didn't play a dork, which is very nice. So maybe it's just Wolf Willow. Hey, oh, okay, so it's Gruel. Basic Gruel. Potentially with this new Ruby daring tracker from wilds of eldraine i've seen well lots of people use it of course with any new card you make a bunch of decks that focus on that card and you try to call it pretty good and maybe sometimes it's not so good but you know, just try different things that's pretty decent though Ooh, just Invasion of Ixlan. Hmm, maybe this person is using more dinos. Oh, we're losing Huntmaster to the Stomp from Bonecrusher Giant. That is painful stuff. I was wondering if maybe I should just go Thunderherd Migration. That would have been a little bit better. I would have been at three guaranteed this turn. I could have also gone Topiary Stomper, but I was kind of hoping to get the third land possibly play ripjaw raptor in the face of a deck that may have a hard time dealing with it nah, that's too bad certainly something like brotherhood's end would decimate a deck like this uh, man that's I want a few more lands at this point. Well, we got it eventually. Hopefully they don't have a Crowan War to steal Ripjaw. Man, that would be rough. They don't have to worry about Topiary, but perhaps they don't read it too much and they don't attack because they think I can use it to block. 
which is not the case. Excuse me. Maybe they fell asleep again. Phew. I've got a chance here. Rishkar P Pima Renegade. Huh. Make stuff bigger. If it has a 1 1 counter, it can tap for green. Of course, Bone Crusher Giant is not going to be tapping, he's going to be attacking. Which he taps, but uh, Bone Crusher Giant to transform Invasion of Ixalan into Belligerent Regisaur. Don't worry, I, I can't block this. You can safely attack. No problem there. Alright. I was getting kind of excited. Maybe they still hadn't read Topiary Stomper too well. Sometimes I get lucky. The opponent doesn't read it. They assume I can use it as a blocker before I can do that. Before I get to seven lands. That is always... Yeah. <laughs> Funny stuff. Oh boy. Hopefully it's a fifth land. Getting Regisaur plus the token. Maybe we can sneak out something here. something. Uh, it's just got to be Ripjaw, unfortunately. It would be nice to go Marauding plus Ripjaw. Uh, we should be able to get Galta next turn. Although I imagine Ripjaw has to block Bone Crusher Giant if we're not just dead to a potential Ember Cleave. That certainly is a very real possibility. Bone Crusher hitting us for massive damage if that's the case. Or they just make a pretty decent sized layer of the Hydra. Oh, fer Feral Encounter, not great. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant is going to take out Ripjaw and we will die. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, well, we had a bunch of stuff and we didn't have the stuff, but certainly no Hide Ferox. Big time. Trim Tyrannix Rex. Yes. Yeah, that's about it. I'd rather have a nice creature in Nullhide Ferox instead of Karn Silex, which might not be fast enough. Might not do the trick. Uh, but yeah, Feral Encounter, at the beginning of combat, they'd have one of their creatures deal damage to one of my creatures. So Bone Crusher Giant would have dealt five damage to Ripjaw. I wouldn't have had any creatures to block, and they would have had enough to kill us. Oh my good, that first hand was a mountain only, and this is uh, worse as well. Nothing for two. Painful. Not even a source of red. Well, we, uh, we did get there. Eventually. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. I was almost thinking of sending Topiary Stomper to the bottom, but no. We'll play it safe. As much lands as possible. Get the stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I think we still would have had a very good chance of getting to Regis or Alpha. The three lands plus Thunderherd Migration. That would have been four right there. Right away. Just in case we get something for a red. Now we do need that mountain. Certainly if I draw a Marauding Raptor, that would be rough if I couldn't play it. Okay. So they're not too worried about me playing a cheap creature. Maybe they don't have Stomp. But we do get Carnage Dart next turn. Boom. <coughs> Boom. Boom, I say. That should do the trick. 
Carnage Time Turn 4. That's where it's at. Yeah. Nothing better. And I should be able to probably attack and block with those topiaries. Certainly it's going to be Carnage Tired 100%. That's no question about it. Next turn, that's what's happening. It would be tempting if I draw land and I play it. I would have six. And then playing the second topiary would get me to seven. I would be able to attack and block with both. But Carnage Tired is going to be the ultimate oof. Gotcha. Watch out. I don't know why they said oops. To miss playing a creature or something or they think they have me and then I drop that and then they cry sometimes I, I I always wonder the opponent says oops do they think I made a mistake somehow some way or I don't know I don't know but yeah they're not going to be doing much of anything they're not going to be attacking with anything Good luck. Gotcha. Carnage Tarrant is stunning. Beautiful. Huh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ooh. Well, that's a tough one. You know what? Topiary Stomper. Big time. Let's get to seven. We have two creatures that can block and it's creatures that don't tap because of the vigilance. We don't leave ourselves quite as open. I think they have a tough time ahead of themselves. Yeah. Oh, I just wish I could give Carnage Tarrant double strike. Or double its power with Xenagos, of course. But if I do see the Great Hench, I can cast it for the fully reduced cost of just two green because Carnage Tarrant has seven power. Man, that would be nice as well. I attack with the Questing Beast. Topiary Stomper blocks it, trades with it. So that is that is very good. I imagine they're mostly dead at this point. Give it plus one plus oh. Watch me not care. I don't see them attacking. They probably want to leave Questing Beast behind to deal with Carnage turn, but still a lot of damage would be continuing on through. It's probably going to do it. Even just uh, with the 3-3 three, three attacking. Maybe they have a braid or something to deal 3 damage to take it out. But the Elvish Mystic would have to tap to do that. I'm not worried. Good stuff. Oh, Tamio save keeping. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. I like it. Nobody expects it. Certainly, I have used Tamio save keeping myself in the past. That has helped big time. We got three creatures to block still. We're good. We're good. We're good. Well, maybe, maybe not. Fail encounter could be pretty painful. We'll take out Regis or Alpha with Fail Encounter's ability at the beginning of combat. Questing Beast, dealing four damage to it. We still got Topiaries, we got the token. Play any creature we draw at this point. Oh, taking out Topiary, I see. Huh. Well, well, well. I like. Oh, so yeah, they're. De all right, all right. Good stuff. Beautiful stuff. I still like that Nohide Ferox, big time. Shifting Ceratops, pretty easy to target. 5-4, yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's rough. No hide Ferox, at least. They have to pay 2 
technically it doesn't have hex proof they pay two to make it have no abilities so it removes the hex proof it basically it reads ward two but four for a six six ward two is better than four for a five four that they can always target with shifting so i'm definitely keeping that toss in you know what we're taking out all the hunt masters we're doing Karn Silex. Yep. They have a little bit of interaction. Certainly feral encounter. Stomp from Bone Crusher Giants. Dealing two damage. Taking out Huntmaster is never a pretty sight. Rough. Oh. <laughs> well. Heaven. That is a heavenly hand. We've got Thunderherd Migration to ramp. Fortunately, we drew into a dino so we can cast it on turn two. Oh my goodness folks this is getting out of control here real darn quick maybe they held two back to stomp the hunt master which I removed so they can't kill it if I don't have it that's a big brain play for the night watch him stomp my face Oh, hashtag pre-recorded. There you go. Huh. Who would have called it? Me. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to go Topiary Stomper. I get to five. And I have the lands in hand, which would get to six. For Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that instead. I want to get the Carnage Tarrant to get Great Henge reduced. Yeah, big time. Big time. And we get ahead in lands. We might turn on Topiary Stomper a little bit sooner. Because we played it sooner. Sarith. Oh, no, oh, Scorpion, if you're watching later on. Yeah, Sarith the Viper's Fang. Well, it's about to get painful. It's got to be this. Can't target. Get him. Love it. Could be all over next turn, depending how many things we draw with the Great Henge. Chain a bunch of stuff. Play it. Play Marauding. Ooh. Feral Encounter. They're going to take out Topiary Stomp, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, maybe they'll also attack with Bone Crusher, leave themselves a little bit exposed. At the very least, I can play Great Henge, Marauding, and Karn Silex all in one turn. That is nice. This certainly would be a good nightcap if I can make it happen. Don't worry, I'm not blocking. Just attack, do it. Oh, they did an attack. Oh my goodness. Oh, then the null hide Ferrex. Okay, folks, let's set up for something big. Big and deadly. Dropping bombs. Life. Cards. Bigger. Woo! Yeah. That might be it. Oh, boy. No hide Ferrex or Karn, uh, Karn Silex. I think it's, it's got to be Karn Silex, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Poof. If they can't take us out next turn, it's all over. If they can't take out Karn Silex next turn, it's all over. We just sit back, relax, cross our fingers. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Hopefully they don't have something that destroys artifacts. Hopefully they don't have Ember Cleave also painful hmm. oh oh we got him oh God. oh my goodness that is gross I will certainly play Galta as we'll pop Karn Silex at some point here we got to keep at least three back well I guess four if we want to take out Sarith 
And we still have four even after playing no hide Ferox. They could have heroic intervention for one in the green, indestructible to everything, saving them from the Silex. Oh, that would be painful. Or they just pack it in. Maybe they'll pack it in. Who knows? All right, let's hope for the best. I'm going to name... Oh, no, not five. I'm going to name three, just so I don't lose that Nullhide Ferox. No heroic intervention. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They might have just Tamiyo safekeeping. Hopefully it's just one. Here goes nothing. Tamiyo safekeeping on Rishkard there. Okay, okay. That's still pretty good. As long as they don't have a second. Oh, they got a second one. Oh, well, that's pretty good. It forces them to use it up, so they don't have it. We take out the dorks. Also nice. But they gain a little bit of life. That's okay. Yeah. We'll hold our good guys back. Oh, Reckless Stormseeker, not going to cut it. The things do get Death Touch with Sarith the Viper's Fang, so we got to keep that in mind. But if they attack, they're definitely going to be dead. We have a ton of damage staring them in the face. They literally can't attack into us. We'll play it safe, we'll get a bunch of... Oh, we'll get a, a good bunch of creatures, and we still have enough to play Karn Silex. Watch them pack it in right here. Draw some more cards. Do it. So, oh, oh, another no hide Ferox. Oh yeah, I can't play it. I would have to pay two. Uh, we're just gonna play the other Ferox. Draw some cards. Kill him. Yeah, take that. Uh, just general gruel mid range. I, I am the mid-range. Beat him up. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Whew. That's a nightcap. It was pretty cool, though. I thought maybe they would save one, but I definitely did not expect to see two Tamiyo save keepings. That's, that's, that's pretty good there. That was, uh, that was a very good suggestion to add that great hand. That made a big difference I must say more than Xenagos 100% but also I gotta think if I had Xenagos doubling the one Carnage turned they probably wouldn't have had enough to deal with it either way a Great Henge lovely Xenagos potentially lovely but excuse me with such a critical mass of creatures above 30 a lot of times there's more than 30 creatures in the deck. Something that cares about creatures entering, making them cheaper, whatever. Something like the Great Henge is so impactful and so lovely, as you just saw right there. Ooh. Man. And the Nullhide Ferox, a good, lovely body. But it may not always make sense to a lot of people because they have lots of non-creature spells. And again, with the Nullhide Ferox, you can't cast non-creature spells. Yeah. Oh, I had a good time. Anybody else watching right now, later on, don't forget to take a bite out of that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good rest of your time zone. Get some good rest. See you next time. See you tomorrow. Birthday stream. Free to play dinos. Maybe a, a variety stream. Whatever you guys want but at least the next installment of free to play. All right, peace, have a good one.